The Pali word for meditation, bhavana, means to develop. Sometimes we're told that the practice is simply one of letting go. But the Buddha said it's both developing and letting go. In John Lee's image, if you simply let go without having developed any good qualities inside, it's like the poor person who says, I let go of my Cadillac, I let go of my Mercedes-Benz. Even though he doesn't have a Cadillac, doesn't have a Mercedes-Benz. And of course he ends up with nothing. But when you develop good qualities in the mind and then let them go, it's not that they go away anywhere. They're there when you need them. Simply that you don't have to carry them around. They're built into the mind. But as you're developing them, it is an extra burden to make sure that you're on top of things because the mind has so many contrary opinions, so many contrary desires, that there is a fight. And you do have to hold on to your virtue, hold on to your concentration, hold on to your discernment. Because when you hold on to these things, that they can protect you. And as you hold on, you get them to grow. It's like raising a child. As long as the child is not yet mature, you have to look after the child. And it's a big burden. But as the child begins to grow, you get some benefit from having a child, you put the child to work. And there comes a point where the child is, can be independent. You don't have to carry around the burden of raising the child anymore. And then the child, if it's a good child, can repay you. So in the same way with the good qualities that we develop in the mind, mindfulness, ardency, alertness, concentration, discernment. They require work in the beginning, but then when they get mature, they can turn around and they can help you. So work on developing these qualities. As the mind wanders off, just bring it right back. Wanders off again, bring it back again. Use your ingenuity to figure out what kind of breathing would feel good right now, so that the mind will want to stay. And in these ways you're developing all kinds of good qualities in the mind that you can use in Lots of different circumstances, not just while you're sitting here with your eyes closed. But as issues come up in the course of the day, if your mindfulness is good, you can remember how you can let go of things that cause suffering inside, even in the midst of some very active activity. You can still maintain an island of calm inside, so work on building it up. Once it's built, then. And you can benefit from having it. You let it go, and it's still there. And in John Lee's image, you're letting go like a rich person. Rich people don't have to carry their wealth around, but they know that they can tap into it when they need it.